Welcome to the WITS Speech and Hearing Department at WITS University. My name is Dr. Ania Mopawase. I am the head of the Speech Pathology and Audiology Department. We offer the oldest training program in both speech pathology and audiology. In the audiology component of the degree, students are afforded the opportunity to focus on the hearing side of the profession, working with hearing, the rehabilitation of hearing loss, deafness, balance difficulties. And in doing so, students are trained in the acoustics, psychoacoustics of hearing, anatomy and physiology, the testing of hearing and the range of different tests. Can you expect to find work when you graduate? Yes, we are on the scarce skills program of the Department of Health. That means that there are not enough speech pathologists in the country to service the needs of the individuals in the country. Students get to interact with a range of different people and work in different community settings at university speech and hearing clinic, hospitals, clinics, schools, rural settings. And in those different settings are working with newborn babies right up to people who are very elderly, while all the time recognizing and focusing on the human rights prerogative to communication and interact in a very personal and humane way. I chose to study at FITS because it's very central and FITS has um, a very high standard and they have lots of equipment and facilities that can aid me in this degree. What's fascinating is the difference that you make in people's lives. Um, seeing people being able to participate where they've been excluded and seeing people being able to communicate their needs, share their knowledge and share their wisdom with other people. When I finish at WITS, I'd like to work with the elderly because they have a lot of information to share, they have a lot of wisdom to share with us and providing that opportunity for them to communicate that wisdom with us is very important to me. As a speech therapist in South Africa, I think our role would be to build awareness in all the different contexts and to expose people to what is out there and to try and um, like build their awareness to what it is and to give them more information and then after that to try and help them as much as we can. Mm -hmm.